So this is one of the recently restored uh, floodplain benches on the Napa River Rutherford Reach and I'm going to show this and just talk about a few of the features. The goal of this particular feature was to create some off-channel uh, rearing habitat for salmon. So juvenile salmon in particular, when they're very small, can't withstand the velocities that you have in the, uh, in the main stem of the river over on the far side. They expend a lot of energy swimming against the flow. And so this side channel that we've created on the near side is designed to give them kind of slacker water where they can hide out during high flows. And as well as providing somewhere that's kind of a refuge from high flows, it's also a feeding opportunity. It creates feeding lanes where you have separation between the fast and slow flow. And also this inundation, as this wets up and dries out, uh, you get um, various insects and larvae and invertebrates uh, which are flushed up to the surface and made available for the fish to eat. You also get nutrients from the floodplain uh, which get into the water and are available. You get leaf litter and debris and so on. The other thing that this side channel does is it creates a depositional area for sediment. So we can see in the middle of this bar that we've created you have some fresh uh, sediment deposits here we're looking at one right behind this willow baffle. And this provides somewhere for fine sediment to settle out on the floodplain. And it leaves the coarse sediment, which is good for the fish spawning, in the main stem of the river. So we get this beneficial separation between the coarse and the fine sediment. So all of these three sets of processes, the uh, refuge from high flows, the inputs of food and the, the feeding opportunities for the fish, and then the separation of sediment, all of these are beneficial uh, for the salmon and for the other aquatic organisms that are uh, living in the Napa River and hopefully this floodplain is making it a little bit easier for them to live their lives.